Okay, so I just wrote a blog post talking about um, a simple way so you can retire. A simple formula that you can use and follow to retire early. That really can be used to retire way before 40. It's a formula really that I came up with while you know working with a mentor and thinking a lot about business and, and what it really you know what's really needed to make a to create a hands off business. You know, what I was thinking about in the past, you know, six or so months. And the formula really is P has got to be equal to or greater to E multiplied by a factor of one point five or one or two or point five. Because what what that formula essentially means is P which is passive income, you know, royalties from books, for example, or dividends from stock, or rental income from property, things like that. Money that comes to you, even while you sleep, or, and, that, and money that you ain't got to really work for, you've really got to do the work once, and now you're getting paid forever. Passive income has got to be greater than E, and E is your collective expenses, so it's bills, food, fuel, utilities, things like that, multiplied by a factor of, say, 1.5, which is 150%. That factor really is to cover a margin of error, you know, to cover any unscrupulous spending or rainy days or emergencies, things like that. So you multiply your expenses by a factor, 1.5 or 2, depending on what your, like, you know, your risk, uh, how risk averse you feel, and use that E, that goal, as a target for your passive income. So as soon as your passive income exceeds that target, then you are, as far as your balance sheet and as far as your banker and as far as money and finance is con con concerned and as far as your financial planner is concerned, you are financially free, which means that you can effectively retire. You have got your assets paying you more money than your expenses, meaning that you can in effect retire. And my definition of retire is to do what you want to do rather than what you have to do. As soon as you've got assets, that pays you money, that, that pays your living expenses, that frees up your time to do other things that you enjoy. You know, this is pursuing the arts or crafts, things like that, or writing books. As soon as you have assets from different things that you've created, from your what, what, what in finance called your estate, once you've got assets that covers your expenses, you can effectively retire. And this can be done way before 40, way before 65, way before the retirement age in whatever country you're in. You can do this at 20, do this at 30, do this at 25. You just need your assets to cover your expenses. And, you know, say you let, people talk also about live within your means. The opposite to that is to expand your means. So if, say, you want to get more, more a bigger house, for example, or more cars, well, these are going to cost something a month. So what you then say is, OK, let's just get more assets, get more property, create more books, build a bigger business, get more stocks, things like that. Increasing your assets, making the P bigger, increases the income, which means you can cover more expenses and more liabilities. This is also how the rich get richer. They just keep buying more and more assets. So I just wanted to explain that, you know, P got to be equal to or greater than E. Because as soon as you, as soon as you can understand, well, two things. As soon as you understand this principle, you understand how the rich continue to get richer day in, day out, and year in, year out. You know, Oxfam recently... Uh, released an article talking about eight people, eight the the eight richest people in the world have more wealth than half the rest, the rest of you know half, the bottom half of the world. It, it's the same rule of life, same twenty four hours in a day, same sun and all the rest, same weather, but the, they play by different rules. And the other thing is, as soon as you understand what your what number E is, for me it's two thousand one hundred two thousand five hundred. As soon as you can understand that, that is a goal for something you, for you to work towards. So you know, you know, as soon as you have a goal, you can work with the end goal in mind and you can reverse engineer all the tasks and all the objectives and understand to what extent they help you reach that goal. As soon as you have a goal, you've got a destination. As soon as you have a destination, you know where you're, you know where you're going to, you know where you're driving to, you know what to work towards. So that's just one thing I wanted to share quickly. P is got to be equal to or greater than E multiplied by a factor of 1.5, for example. As soon as you can understand this principle, you can retire way before 60, way before 40. And it's this guiding principle, this formula, that when you grasp it, you, have a you know what direction you're taking, you know where you're going in life. 
create more assets, create more and more assets, solve more problems. The more problems you create, more problems you solve, the more you're going to get paid. And if you build the system up correctly, or the principle that I call do the work once and get paid forever, build the system correctly, and you have assets and money coming to you, and you're solving other people's problems. And that's what entrepreneurship is all about, solving other people's problems. How cool is that? I'm going to start doing more videos like this. Subscribe for more. Check out the blog below. There should be a link to it, nanchef.com. Subscribe. More videos like this to come. How cool is that?